Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today, I am going to share with you, I'm going to grab my mug here, look at my Irish mug, my little Celtic mug. This was a gift, isn't it great? I thought it was appropriate for springtime and for um, March. You'll be watching this on March, most likely. Hey, welcome to Above Life Channel. If you're new here, it's nice to have you with us. This is a podcast version. I do this every Sunday. So sometimes it's video, but usually it's audios to help inspire your spirit and fill you with hope about intuitive and life topics. So today, actually, I'm inspired from and super encouraged by a client I had. I had a recent session on Friday about um, with, with a woman who was... <clears throat> She's just an inspiring person, okay? She's an author. She's a um, just a great mom and just really genuinely willing to do her work. And I think it's just, she's amazing. And so, and she's brave, let me tell you that. And she said to me, Bridget, you have to use this as a Sunday morning coffee. It sounds like it would be a good Sunday morning coffee. And what came through was, um, she was sharing with me about feeling afraid to use her, to use her voice. And she said, I'm scared to use my voice. I'm scared to use my voice, my voice. And she's a writer, you guys. Okay. Communicator, ultimate communicator big deal, right? And she's like, I'm scared to use my voice. She said, mine. And when she was talking, I was listening to her. I've heard it so many times from so many of you, how hard it is to use your voice, how hard it is to articulate what you feel, how hard it is to, to, to get through some resistance to sharing what you actually out loud, what you're thinking about, because it sounds crazy or it doesn't fit with the life you've built, or it doesn't fit with what other people expect of you or the persona or the career that you have. It doesn't fit or it's something completely different, or it's something that you felt for a long time, but just haven't given words to. And it's scary to give it words to, because if you give it words to, then you hear it. And then you're like, oh my gosh, you have to kind of deal with it. Right. So it's hard. The voice piece has a lot of layers, right? Throat chakra, voice, peace, communication. But I've heard that so many times from so many different women that I've been working with over the course of all the years that I've been doing coaching, which is what, 17 now? <sighs> so I took the word scared as she was talking about it. And I said, all you have to do is move the sea. Just move the sea. Slide the C instead of scared with an SC, slide it. SAC, switch the spots. Instead of scared, let's use sacred. I am sacred to use my voice. Scared and fear is a part of that. Yes. Resistance is a part of that. Old patterns is a part of that. Other people's opinions is a part of that. Scared peace. So we acknowledge I'm scared to use my voice. I'm scared too. And we take the C and we switch it over to behind the A and we make it sacred. I am sacred to use my voice. I am sacred to make a change. I am sacred to write a book. I am sacred to start a business. I am sacred to say that I am a healer. And as I am speaking, do you, do you see, can you see all the sunlight coming in? It's just like all of a sudden it's just pouring in. Like all of a sudden it's been cloudy and it just literally is pouring in. I am sacred to. Fear is part of the natural ingredients of what it's like to try to understand what's going on inside of us, to manage the human expression and experience in our mind, our intellect. Fear helps to keep us safe. It's a survival thing. It has not ever been intended to be an emotion, <laughs> but when fear drops into the heart space and becomes an emotional type of a thing and mixed in with other types of emotions like guilt, shame, 
um, feelings of, of self-doubt, feelings of um, um, an ad- inadequacy or, or um, selfishness. That's one, my big one. That's my big red flag is selfish. Oh, Bridget, you're selfish. You're selfish. You're selfish. You're selfish. A fear of being selfish, right? Whatever your feeling emotion is that attaches to the fear, it becomes this big insurmountable thing. It becomes a fence, a gate, a stone fence, a mountain. It becomes a barrier, an obstruction of resistance. So if we acknowledge, I am scared to, I am scared of, I am scared for, instead of scared, Let's just move that C over the A, jump on over the A and call it sacred and try that. Let's reframe using the power of words, which the brain freaking loves words and communication and words are vibrational. So when you say things out loud, it has a whole different energy for you. And yeah, you do have to hear it, which means if you say something out loud, you speak it, you get to decide when you hear it, if it is right for you or not, and if it is yours or not, because if you get it out of you, I, I am scared to use my voice. I am sacred to use my voice. When you say my voice in this context, and for this example, it's the voice, the communication piece, the voice, my voice. What is that? What does that mean? I am sacred to use my voice. What does my voice represent? The point is the subject. What am I? What, what does that mean to me? That, that voice, what does that represent? What does it symbolize? I am sacred to use my voice. What does my voice symbolize? Whatever your topic is, it could be, I am scared to go to school. I am scared to date. I am scared to look at my finances. I am scared to go to the gym. I am scared to have a conversation with my mom. I am sacred to go to the gym. I am sacred to look at my finances. I am sacred to have a conversation with my mom. I am sacred to date. Totally puts a whole level of honor, opens you up in integrity to that topic that is important because it's the topic, the subject matter that's important. And the scaredness is the fear of what might happen, whether it's real or not, the anticipation of all the bad stuff, the doom stuff. And the sacred is an acknowledgement of how dang important that thing is. Your voice is so important for this example. Your voice is so important. This person is a writer. (laughs) Doesn't just write for themselves, writes for other people. Oh, 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 hello, marketing and promotions person. Voice is sacred. And so in this context, that voice is very personal. It's deeply personal. And sometimes the things that are deeply personal to us, we feel like we have to keep under wraps and keep tight close to our chest and not let other people see them. Because when other people know what's important to us, sometimes they have opinions and their voice overpowers our voice and their voice comes in and over squashes our voice. And because they're rational, they make sense. They, you can't argue with somebody that's rational, but they're not you. And you are not scared. I mean, you are perhaps have some fear. Yes. Resistance. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and rightfully so probably very rationally. So, and so you can say, yes, acknowledge it. Yes. And then I want you to say, I am sacred to use my voice, voice. A piece of resistance, voice, right? You are sacred. This matters to you. It means something to you. Other people cannot wreck what means something to you. It feels like they can, like a wet blanket or bring some clouds into your sunny skies. That's just energy. That's just energetic. That is, that is, 
doesn't have to be yours. It is temporary, it is temporary, it is temporary. So be in a space where you claim the sacred for what matters to you most. Because fear is just the way that is confusing energy into a place of trying to keep something sacred by not thinking about it, not doing anything about it, not talking about it, because there's so much fear that it's going to be bad. It's going to be hurt. It's going to be damaged. And it's so, so, so special to you. It's such a treasure to you. Your voice is such a treasure in this example. It's such a treasure to you that if that gets wrecked, then you just as soon would be dead. There's no more for you left because your voice is your passion. Your voice is your purpose. Your voice is your life. It's the reason why you came here. So what you're the scared part, I am scared to use my voice. Totally legitimate, totally justified. But what if you are sacred to? And then plug in anything that matters to you. I am sacred to change. I'm scared to change. I'm sacred to change. I'm scared to get help for something I'm dealing with. I'm scared to talk to the doctor about my anxiety. I am sacred to talk to the doctor about my anxiety. Fear is something that acts as a protector. It is a buffer. It is perhaps well-intended to keep you safe, and yet it stunts your growth. It holds you back from what is most precious to you. So instead of being scared, acknowledge the fear as part of just this whole conglomeration of thoughts and thinking and past patterns and opinions and other people's stuff and your experiences and the desire to stay safe and comfortable, you can acknowledge that and then say, I am sacred. Replace scared with sacred. Just try it, just say it and see how it changes the energy. I am sacred to use my voice. Wow. Okay, so that feels important, doesn't it? What are you scared of? It reminds me of that Miriam Williamson um, poem about our deepest fear. It's not that we are inadequate, but that we are far greater, right? Than we think we are. It's not that we're not enough, our greatest fear is that we think we're so much, we're too much and other people aren't gonna get us and they're gonna judge us and we're gonna be over the top and we're not gonna fit in and we're not gonna be long. The most important thing is to belong to yourself. That's what we call sovereignty. That's where freedom comes from. That's where the most incredible art comes from. That's where the most profound advancements in science and technology come from. When we are free to be ourselves, when we are free to think beyond the measures of the safety zones and the way things have always been. And we transcend our past experiences and the pains and the woundings of our parents who meant well when they taught us how to not use your voice, how to mind your manners, how children should not be heard or not be so loud or how, how girls should be proper and appropriate in their speech and mannerisms. What are you scared of right now? What are you scared of? Really, what really, what really scares you? What are you really scared of? Take a moment and just feel that for me, will you? Can you just feel that? I'm gonna feel it and see what I'm scared of today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel into this for myself too. Mm. I would say I'm afraid that people will see through me. See through to my humanity and the struggles that I personally am dealing with inside my heart. And I'm not even afraid that people will see through me, see into me, see my heart, my true heart and what's heavy on my heart today. 
to see how I'm really like feeling in my personal self life right now. But it's that I am afraid, I'm scared that people will not want me as a coach because I have so many things going on in my life. So many things are changing in my life. I have an incredible amount of, of people who are needing me right now and of pressures or stressors on life, like lots of things that if I just list them out, I was telling one of my friends, she's like, how are you doing on this catch up? And I'm like, oh, are you sure you want my list? I'm like, let me just bullet point it. And she was like, oh my God, Bridget. Oh my God. She's like, how are you? How? Oh my God. I'm like, well, it's a good thing I've had years of life coaching experience. That's <laughs> huh, a good thing I've had all those workshops on trauma-informed care and healing modalities. And it's a good thing I'm in, I'm in some, um, an anointing uh, 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 women's group this year. It's a good thing I have my creative outlets. It's a good thing I've been, I discovered a new card deck. It's a good thing. I, I mean, it's like, I have all these resources and tools to assist me, right? To manage and work with all these things that are here. But my, I am scared that if people really knew all the stuff that I was dealing with personally, they wouldn't want me as a life coach because they would think I already have too much going on. When the truth is I am sacred to be authentic. I am sacred to be heartfelt. I am sacred to be a human that is dealing with human shit <laughs> and relationships and change and all sorts of levels of just about everything you could possibly imagine is affecting me and my direct life right now. And I am sacred for that because it will make me a better, it makes me such a great psychic right now. It makes me so in tune and intuitive and appreciative of the spirit guidance and the energies and the subtleties, the subtle little things in the moments. That's what makes me a fan freaking fantastic intuitive coach. So I am probably the best coach I have been in a long time because of my human stuff that is that I'm faced with right now and all of the things that are happening. So I am sacred to be a human dealing with a ton of human things. I am sacred. Wow, that was personal. That was a personal Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. And I have to share with you too. So when I'm going through times like this, and, and maybe this is true for you too, my creative outlets are so important to me. My journals, my card, my cards, my divination tools, like card decks, my card decks and my, my oils, the Emerald Temple oils in particular. I've recently made rose water out of fresh roses. I recently got a gift of um, a spray with essential oil in it. This is an Archangel Metatron spray. This is some of Amanda Ellis's sprays that I recently got as a gift for, my, for, for me from, from a client and friend. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot. I know there's a lot in the world. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. I know there's a lot of levity and heaviness in our heart space, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have to keep you scared and stagnant from your own personal growth. When it seems like your memoir or, or that little creative project, that, that art, that painting that you're working on or that sketch that you're working on seems insignificant in comparison to this bigger kind of energy, this tribal collectiveness energy that is, that is happening or things that are unfolding in the world. But I'm telling you, what's, what is scary is sacred. It gives you opportunity to show up for yourself, to know yourself more, to be present for the moments. Like I can't, I mean, this just showed up. Someone that, someone that knows me that I've been working with and coaching for a, a, quite some time thought that I should have these. And so she sent me several sprays from Amanda, who is an incredible intuitive, who I also know. And I just, so it's like double the beautiful energies 
Like good stuff happens too, you guys. Good stuff happens while all the crap is happening. It's all together. It's not one or the other. Like somebody said, well, when is this just going to lighten up? When are things going to let up? I just, I just need things to lighten up. You need to lighten up. You need to recognize that where you're scared, where your holdbacks are, where your resistance is, this is information for you. This is a time for you to embody what is sacred, to notice what matters to you and to speak, to recognize that your voice is sacred and to hear yourself. It's not for other people necessarily. It's for you first and foremost, it's for you. You are here as a human for you first and foremost, and it affects everybody around you. Yes, it affects your your families and your companies and your organizations and your communities and maybe even the world because you impact just by your energy or by something that you do in the world. Do not discount that. And where you're scared, it's natural, it's natural. And it tells you what matters, your fears, intentionally are trying to hide the most special parts of you to keep those special parts safe. And at times I'm scared too. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I worry too. I don't know. But I do know that the universe has our back. I know that we're held, supported, and loved. And I know that good stuff shows up just as much as the bad stuff is present. It's like, what are you tapped into? The sacred or the scared? Shift into the sacred. All right. Okay, so this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening. Yeah, oh, Sunday morning coffee. This was probably long-winded. I got to listen back to this. Hello, sunshine. Can you see that? It's like gorgeous. Can you see it? This is all oh, beautiful. Thanks so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Gosh, I love podcasts, you guys. I love it. I love it. I really enjoy it. I got a new mic too. Did you see that? It's like on a boom. Um, my One of my kids gave me this. Uh, I got the mic for Christmas and I got the boom thing and he set it all up for me. Um, for my birthday. So it's really cool. I love it. I feel like I'm a DJ or something. Spinning records. <laughs> I hope I've inspired your spirit, filled you with some hope today. Got you to think a little bit, get out your journals, get your journals out. There are links below to some of my favorite journals. This is one of them right now. This is the one I'm using right now for my anointing group that I'm in. So yeah, use your journals, use your journals and write. Hope I've inspired your spirit, fills you with some hope and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all, and you get to live it. Just live it. Hey, thanks for being here. Hey, and if you like my content, let me just peek here. I can't barely see this. Here we go. If you like my content, check me out on my other YouTube channel, Fairy Grasshopper. Fairy Grasshopper means magical student. It's the first YouTube channel I, I had. It's kind of a vlogging, a psychic vlogging channel, but I also talk about intuitive talk topics. I share stuff about angels and past lives and just daily intuitive stuff that happens. And I, I talk about energy and clearing and healing and all sorts of stuff. I do card readings, all sorts of stuff intuitive. So if you're interested, check out Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. Thanks for watching.